102.7 backstage at the Tonight Show. I know. With Gwen Stefani. You I look mean, amazing, can, by the way. Thank you. And can you believe this is our life right now? Like, this is actually... We're going to, I'm going to be on TV tonight and, <laughs> and right now I'm on the radio. Like this is happening to me. Well, we were, <laughs> we were so weird. saying on the subway up here, watching everyone go to work and do whatever they do. We're sitting there and I, I go to Carson, I go, we're, we're on our way for, as our job to go talk to Gwen Stefani. Our, our lives do not suck. <laughs> yeah. No. It's so crazy. And I was, um, I had to get up at 4 AM, which I was so like, I would do anything to have the morning I had because it was so incredible doing just doing radio interviews all morning talking about my song like my, my song went to number three this morning on iTunes after doing the interviews because everybody's been so wow. kind to me. It's just it's so crazy that all this is happening. I'm blown away. Well, it's such a beautiful song, Used to Love You, and we were watching, Kane and I were watching the video, um, your performance on The Voice on Monday. Oh, so you. emotional. We've oh. never, it, it's, how do you do that? How do you get up your you're inspiring because uh, I know this is a really tough time it has been a really insane craziest year of my life and um honestly I just I, I just been doing a lot of spiritual exercising you know like you do when you get like backed up against the wall you just kind of have to go there and it's been so incredible like I feel so clear and in touch and like I just feel so like I have so much faith I feel so like I just feel like I'm finally doing, like, doing what I need to be doing, which is writing music again, like, contributing, using my gift, like, being, like, grateful, being present, not being in the past, not being in the future, like, all the things that I've just been practicing so much, and it's it's weird because you see the gifts, like, right there when you're listening, it's mm -hmm. just, it's, it starts to show itself, and it's just been magic. Was writing the song uh, more therapeutic, or was it more... I don't know, um, difficult to get that out. It was, um, it was, a, this one was a weird one because I had like, I hadn't written in a long time. I had a really tough, like, I want to say five years. I had, a, I had like, I had like start, I had a tough run for a while and like, I had wanted to go in and um, make a record so badly when I got the voice. That was like the start of the miracles. Like I had gotten pregnant with Apollo, which was just a true like, what? Like, come on. Like that's crazy. And if you knew the story of how that happened, like it's just crazy. What is, what is the story? Well, I mean, the story was basically Kingston asked me, are you going to have a baby? And I was like, of course I'm not going to have a baby. And he's, he's like, Kingston is your my oldest, oldest son. Right. Yeah. And he. He just literally put his hands together and started praying like every night and then in like within four weeks I got pregnant with a baby and I think my husband Aww. was home one at my ex husband was home <laughs> at one like one night like that month. Like it was just a miracle. And um and so once I had the baby, I got this call like four weeks later to do the voice. And it was like a surreal call, like it was like, Do you want to do the voice? I was like, What? Like had you been was, oh sorry yeah, yeah. it's like out of nowhere gonna, you know what I mean and, and, and at a time when you have your hands full now you have a baby you have three kids yeah and I and I fashion line and you know when you're pregnant and you like kind of get anxious to want to get back to your life a bit because you just kind of feel like it's uh, never like, gonna happen <laughs> I just want like I wanted to do new music so bad at that point but then how am I gonna go in and write a new record like right now like there's no way so so anyways I went on the voice and and I started like kind of trying to curate a record do you know what I'm saying like yeah like everybody else does like not write it and just but but like kind of fix songs or if somebody sends me like umbrella like i'm gonna do that song you know right. what i mean like come on send me a hit like let's do this I've, i i don't have an ego like i've written a lot of hits like i don't need to write it and and that's when i did um you know i was gonna put this record out but it just never felt right you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like it never felt right so it kind of got delayed and um and then my life exploded as everyone i feel like people that know who i am know and um that's when i just kind of was like it wasn't like i want to write it was like i need to go write right now if i don't write right now i i know that was the only thing that could save me there was nothing i had to put it somewhere and it was just really like my calling to, to do that and i had to i couldn't write before because i had to go through what i went through to write oh. this record do you know what i mean and and it's weird because used to love you came out exactly 20 years to the to the week that the tragic kingdom came out which was again like another tra like a tragic right. time in my life 
And it's just so bizarre to me that like it just makes me it confirms that that's my journey and that's part of what I have to do. And I'm I'm honored, you know, what I'm saying to, yeah. to make music and to share it and and now to receive the love that I've received and the comfort. And it's just crazy because music's so healing and powerful. It's healing. It's well, it's very powerful watching you perform your video for the song just a killer and and then watching you it, it, you just make everybody want to cry <laughs> talking to you right now makes me want to cry Aww. you're just very inspiring and i think oh my gosh it must have taken a long time to write these lyrics without being like i'm gonna kill you or you know i mean well, you came out very classy in the because there there was a couple lines in in the voice performance there where the veins in your neck came out <laughs> and it looked like you did want to kill out, they, 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 <laughs> those veins come out even when i'm not upset um <laughs> yours of singing i think that you know like I had written a, like a lot of songs before I wrote this one, and I'd written them quick. And it was weird. It's like a channel had been opened that was closed. And I, every time I went in, I was writing a song, and sometimes two songs in one day. And it, you got to understand how crazy my life is because I have three kids. Mm -hmm. So it's not like oh whatever, I'm gonna stay up all night and write a song. Like it was like they're at school. I'm going. I'm gonna be there at 10:30. I'm gonna like you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to go home because like I want to finish this right now or you know whenever they would not be with me, which was you know also another crazy thing that happens when you your family splits up. You have your kids half the time, which is like another tragedy. You know what I mean? But it was it was in some ways a blessing because I did get to write, you know, I have to find the blessings and the tragedies and I, I did have that extra time I didn't have before, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I wouldn't have been able to write the record, you know what I mean? Like you have to look at all of these things. Right, so it's not like you're happy about no, what happened. No, at all, but, 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 things, but good, good things did come out of it and, and that's just the way life is and um, you have to look at it that way. So anyways, yeah, I just, I, when I, by the time I had gotten to this song, I feel like I had written all the really mean, angry ones that which, I would never have put now. Like they, you're not going to release those. No, I'm going to all release them, but I'm. They weren't. It, this had to happen first. Like no. the, it, this for me yeah. was like a period of kind of okay, forgiveness. You know what I mean? Like it's like okay, like you know, you have to get to that place to heal yourself. You know what I mean? So I think this song really is about that in a lot of ways. If you really look at it. Would you say it's the most honest or obviously honest song you've ever written? Um, I think that all of my songs are honest. I I. I wanted to be a fantastical writer and I've always wanted to be able to do that, like make up stuff, but all of the stuff, whenever I I write, like literally you'll ask the people I've been writing with too, cause I'll, they'll be like, well, what if it said, did it? And I'm like, no, that didn't happen. No, you know, that can't, no way. That's not what I mean. So it's just, it's like, it's always been that way for me, like just to be able to write from reality. And I think that when I went in to start writing and I, the, the team that I'm writing with now, which was a just crazy coincidence, the record company put me in with these people I didn't know who they were and I just walked in the room and I was obviously just I don't even know how to have words to describe where I was at in my life and I just walked in and I was like listen you guys like I don't care about what the record company said I don't care about hits I don't care about all I want is to get this out it, I want the truth I want to be real I want to just use my gift that's it and they were like okay <laughs> like you know what I mean because I didn't and, and real I didn't realize they were like these super talented amazing songwriters that that we were gonna have like a hundred babies together meaning like these songs that we would right. write that would forever be living and like you talk about like Justin Justin Tranter yeah, right. and Julia and JR and I wrote um with this girl Raja before Julia who's so talented as well and it was like the breakfast club it was like you know and it was also crazy because when we first started writing everything was so like secret and you know this all went down a long time ago so I couldn't say what was going on you know what I mean and it was like I was trying to be really like and then you know when you're like upset and like <laughs> you're like trying right. to like you know like collaborate tell the story, but not <laughs> but tell the yeah story. and then like through the process like things were you know things happened and they really went through it with me so um it's just been like incredible to have the outlet you know to have the creative outlet so will we hear that on the next album 2016 i have right? all the you songs have... like i could put a record out i could probably put two records out right now but i think that i don't feel done writing like i feel like now i'm in a new like i it's like i wrote everything within eight weeks like really wow. quick which has never happened it's a true honest i keep saying the word miracle but it is a miracle and um and then now i've had this break and i've been on the show and i've been doing the voice and 
you kind of look back at the songs and you think, okay, well, I'm in a different place now. Like, I feel like I have more to say. And so I'm going to go in and see if, if the channel is still open. And, you know, I want to do that before I put it out. But I think early next year, I'll put something out. That'd be great. Is life exciting with the, uh, with the new BF? What's with that? With Blake. <laughs> yeah, could be. That could be so many things. Yes. <laughs> really? What else could it be? I think I was thinking of best, best friend. Best friend? Oh, best I guess. BF, yeah, 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 BF, yeah, yeah, best he friend. He looks like a fun guy, and you look so You know happy. what? He's he's a really awesome guy, and um, it's just crazy. Like, there's been so many people that have saved me, you know what I'm saying? Like, and um, helped me through this journey, and, you know, he's one of them for sure. And um, I don't know. Like, there's so many things that I'm like... I was just walking through the corridor right now thinking flashback to like how many weeks ago we were here at Jimmy Fallon and like and you just can't predict what's going to happen next can you it's just so no. surreal like life is so full of so many surprises yeah that's what I'll say about that surprise <laughs> surprise <laughs> well, let's, let's talk about the voice um, you, you're coming down to the finals you have any uh, predictions I just am just I think that I had such an incredible team this time and it's it you just get so attached to watching um corinne i don't know if you saw her like go down last mm -hmm. week oh, was that last week or this week yeah, i don't no, even this know past where week. i'm at right oh, now yeah, when what she day lost, is it today oh, yeah she, she lost she, she didn't, forgot the lyrics she got, yeah the song. and you know it's like it's crazy that that doesn't happen more i don't understand if you guys were there and saw how fast they have to learn the songs and like yeah. how much they're doing and, and they're new at it yeah, it's it and the pressure, like it's it's insane. And I couldn't do it. I mean, I really don't think I could. And that's what was so insane about doing my own performance on the on the voice is like you're right there with them and and for me, it wasn't just like it wasn't just like I'm thinking about all the stuff I said to everyone and like now you're doing it. You better like <laughs> you better you bring it, girl. It but up. it's like but it's also like I feel like I'm like, okay, I'm going to get naked and tell everyone what just happened to me. That's what it felt like. You and know that's what, I mean? what it's it, very it, like it's very, you know, like exposed and it's but the team is my 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 whole team was just so great and i think now i'm i'm down to two i have jeffrey and i have brayden and um they've come so far in so many ways i mean jeffrey is just stunning i mean his they both are um they're so different you know brayden's like 15 I mean, his yeah. voice is literally changing as he's been on the show wow. <laughs> like he's like he said that to me he's like i can't hit the high notes anymore i'm like what he's like my voice is changing i'm like no way he's like it is <laughs> this is i'm gonna take a chance with this question what are some famous singers that you think if they went on the voice would get zero chairs <laughs> Me, uh, yeah. <laughs> me. No way. That's an no easy one. Way. No way. Yes, for sure. I mean, it, the thing about the voice, which so is so insane, and nobody can understand unless they sit in that chair and they do what we do, which is sit there and listen to like seventy people come through in one day, like a fourteen-hour day, and like so. And you really can't tell when you're you're listening to that many voices, and you, um, it's. It, and there's so many talented people, but you're really looking for something because you can't see. You cannot see. And it's you can pretend at home and shut your eyes, but it's just not the same because it's TV's different from being in there real. You know what I mean? The voices sound different. The room sounds different. But um, I know that for sure, you know, like these people are incredible singers. Like I'm I'm I am what I am. Like I have my a, a, a distinct sound and it's people recognize me, but I'm not like talented in that way like technically like and the the range that they have and like it's incredible to watch it's so inspiring for me it's a lot of fun to watch it and see what everybody's got to bring but you were live on monday and it was incredible it was incredible thank you, you can bring it thank you you can bring it <laughs> how was thanksgiving it was awesome it was like at, my parents did it at their house and um we go big you know what i mean like the stefanis know how to like party <laughs> we know how to party and we have there's lots of cousins and kids and we go like real um real big for the holidays so it was a lot of fun do and, you ever cook um i'm not a huge cook but i am doing christmas so i'm going to be learning how to make the stefani lasagna we're doing lasagna mm. this time and so my mom's going to come over and do that with my sister-in-law we're going to learn that and we went to disneyland the day after so that was like we went 20 of us went, oh, how fun. it was so crazy it was so crowded and so fun how do you how do you all stay together when there's 20 we of you like, or do you split matching up matching t-shirts like, tour guides one at the back and, and one at the uh, front like and we just like you know we had we were lucky we had like special 
ways to get through because it was so crazy. I was going to ask, how are you walking through Disneyland? I just make it, it it just happens. I don't know. It's the happiest magical place on earth. They made it happen for me. It was so great. Do your boys know that mommy's, you know, well, they must know she's got a very cool job. They said, mom, when are you going to write a hit? Oh, Come on, stop. let's get this kids going, are so Mom. Honest. <laughs> They're so honest. I can't wait to FaceTime them after this and tell them I'm number three on iTunes this morning. There is That's like, gonna be good. Is it, you know, they lo- like they know every single song on the radio. They know songs before their hits. Like they're, you know, that's they're that's what kids do, and it's really crazy to be now being part of that. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, that's Justin Bieber and Mom. What's up? You see that? You see that Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, and Mom? You see that right there? And then Adele. Hello. One more question. <laughs> um, what? Uh, what's your best or and, and worst? Best and worst gift as a kid that you got oh, yeah. for for Christmas? I don't know about worst. I I, I never like clothes. I've, <laughs> it's a really I, bad I, girl, I guess. I, yeah. You know what I mean? My parents were so, like, they were, like I said, they went big. So they were always, they put a lot of thought into it. And I don't ever remember feeling disappointed. I mean, I think there's that one age where you're, like, around 10 where you're, like, I really want a doll still, but it's just not doing the same thing it used to. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why is this not, why is this not fulfilling me the way it used to? But, I mean, um, best gifts, I mean, my girlfriend, Sophie Muller, who did the video, who's done tons of my videos, mm-hmm. is one of my best friends who... It's just like, I mean, I don't know how you can get a friend as good as that. She just bought me this jacket the other day. I was talking about it. This is the first gift she's bought me in 20 years, and it she really did it. She really, she, it's it is re- awesome. It, just to describe it at home, it's I, I wish beautiful, I had friends sparkly. Like that. <laughs> My friend buys me a box of Snickers every Christmas. <laughs> Seriously, a 30 count of Snickers. I'm like, Thank you. It doesn't take much to make you happy, though. That's no, fair. that makes me ha- That would make me happy. What are the kids asking for? Um, they're asking for like dog, a dog, and so uh, the dog. a puppy, and they want hoverboards, what? and they want they want everything. They want everything that comes on TV. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the hoverboard. That's exactly what my kids want too. Yeah, they blow up though. Did you see that? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. One started on fire. Blew up. Whoa. Be careful. Okay, I will. Just warning you. I don't know how to be careful about that, but okay. <laughs> I know, right? Not it get, not get one. Right, exactly. <laughs> Gwen Stefani, thank you so thank much you for your guys. time. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much. This is so exciting. Thank you, everybody that's listening to the song and getting it on iTunes and watching me on The Voice and, like, talking to me on my social media. And it's just so fun to, like, read what people have to say. And it's been really, like, moving and touching. Thank you. It's so cool you're still so humble after all these years. And so sweet. How do you, I mean, how do you not be? Like, this is a miracle. Come on. You know the business. You know what kind of people are out there. They change. It's great that you have it. I've been, I've been so lucky to have so much time. Like, I'm like, here, I'm still here. Hi. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. You're not going anywhere. Thank you.